Uh, today is a video day. I'm in the mood, Ollie, can you tell? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Ollie's happy because he is working on one of the coolest modern sport bikes of our generation, right, Ollie? Absolutely. RC213V-S. Titanium throughout. Every little bolt, except for Ollie. The engine bolts. Except for the engine bolts. Ollie was making fun of that earlier. That's okay. You got this massive, <laughs> massive swing arm, right? That's cool. It is really cool. And uh, this beautiful triple clamp. Look at the machine work on that. It's special. This is super special. You need to wash your hands every two minutes, okay? <laughs> okay. Yep, no fingerprints. The owner might even let me take it for a test ride. We'll see. All right, let's see what else we got here. Here's the power plant for this bike. And this is the same style bike that Marquez practices on when he's uh, not on a track, or I should say not racing his main bike. Carbon fiber throughout, titanium throughout, these really cool throttle bodies, carbon air box. Let's keep, let's keep seeing what we got here. Keep looking. Here's the body work that goes along with this bike with the 213V-S. Hopefully we have it together soon. And... This is the special crate of goodies to finish it off. So that was the hard part. Mark and I did the heavy lifting. And Ollie put the bolt in, bolts in I should say, just to hold it in place. That nice, super clean little power plant is in the bike for the RC213-VS. <laughs> it's gonna go together quickly. Angel's over there making jokes. No, I said I bought a new snap-on, so. You what? Oh, is that what snap-on over there? Look at you guys. You got so excited about the tools. I love it. Man, let me see the snap-on truck. Cool. Anyway, going back together. Fun, Ollie. Yep. Is it just as fun having me back here? Yeah. Helping you? Helping <laughs> me. Come on. I did all the heavy lifting. I'm sweating here. You were just sitting there smiling, making little jokes in your weird accent. <laughs> what? Queen's English, baby. <laughs> All right, part three of our video of putting together the RC213V. Dash S, Mark. Dash S. Is unloading the crate. This is the HRC crate. It comes with the bike. Titanium stands. Look at that. I'm not as strong as I look. It's just really light. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Beautiful. All right, DVD. First layer. There you go. First layer. Second layer. Got a side for me. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is the exhaust system. It weighs nothing. All right. Let's put this here so all we can start putting all these parts on it. It does weigh nothing. Literally nothing. It's incredible, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that work. Look at those welds. Tell you, Honda does not cut corners. And ready? This is much smoother. As I smack it. Wow. Again. And some more. There you have it. Carbon fiber pieces. Oh no! Wait, there's more. There's more. One oh, last yeah. one. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. Sprocket. How much time we have left, Can Man? Ten seconds. And. Gearing and other pieces. Woohoo! <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> that is rad. Oh, man. I smashed the finger. So when you buy an RC213V, you want to get one out of the country, they, they can include a race kit. This is some of the stuff that I was showing you in the last video. All these cool bits, all this carbon. There's obviously the ECU. It's probably the race ECU, I should say. Exhaust springs. Every piece is just beautiful. Canon, take a look at that. Like I should on the last video, just how beautiful the welds are. And again, I mean, I know I keep saying it, but it weighs nothing. Sprockets, brake pads, pretty much everything. And I don't know if you know this, Canon, but if you order a Honda, they give you a full kit and include in the kit an Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a team player. Time to start. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So Honda, you guys do it right, everyone. Thank you all. That was great. Good instructions. Look. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, 
Okay, this is part six of the build of the RC213V. I should say assembly of the 213V-S. A few things I want to point out. Obviously, uh, Ollie's making good time on the bike. He's got it all together. The motor in last night, wheel in, got the harness all routed correctly. But let's look at a couple little things in detail, right, Ollie? Do you mind? Go for it. Go ahead and pull this out. Look at the machine work just from the factory. Clearly zero miles. I got to clean that valve is. You can eat off that one. <laughs> Putting together a few things here and there. He's getting that all dialed in. And beyond that, we've got the throttle bodies all assembled. I was just talking about Kean's flat slides on my last post. This is something a little more modern, right, Ollie? Yeah. Look at that. How <laughs> trick is that? There's the lid that goes on top. Carbon fiber, of course. A bunch of tie bolts from the factory. Already uh, pre-drilled. And if you notice here, the table of parts is slowly clearing up. One of my other videos included the box of all the HRC stuff. As you can see, we're slowly starting to attack that as well. Anyway, what do you think, Ollie? A couple more days on this one? I hope so, yeah. Two more days at least. Make sure we do it right. Triple check everything and uh, off it goes with the new owner. I've bought a hundred other things I should be doing right now, but uh, I keep finding myself back here bugging Ollie. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yep, that's all right. Set the radiator in. I can see that. Oil cooler. Oil, oil cooler is all attached. Exhaust is mostly on. I think that's crazy. Even the little fasteners look fancy, huh? Yeah, they're like $80 each. <laughs> you, so Ollie's been looking at some of the prices on some of the parts. So what was, uh, give me an example or two. $26,000 for a head. Twenty-six thousand for a head. I'm not even worth twenty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> this is cool. This is where the intakes come in, like we talked about before. This big beefy swing arm. I've been mentioning this a lot. There it is. It's actually more uh, stout on this side. A couple people mentioned before how the shock is buried in the swing arm, which is really interesting. Part of the race kit, you get rid of that whole cover, and this is uh, the exposed dry clutch kit. What do you think, Ollie? Fun working on this one? Yep. I get much better than this. Except for maybe that uh, Kenny, uh, I'm sorry, that... Uh, I'm it. Why is it up? Yeah. There you go. That's coming up. be pretty fun. He's got all the... When we ride it. What's that? When we ride it. There you go. You can ride it. Airbox lids on. Got electronics put on. This goes in the tail. Yep. Back here somewhere. There you go. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, this is video number five, which is our final one for the day because Ollie works the early shift. He's got the, uh, like I said, he's got the rear wheel on it from this morning. The motor's in place, got the spacers in place, right Ollie? Yep. And I'm looking here, I can see that you've got the, uh, the front sprocket on. Yeah. All right. The owner of the bike called us and says, uh, the thing about this bike is when you're putting your race kit on actually, on a side note, you have to choose if you want it for the street or the track. He has zero intentions of riding this on the street, so it will be his track bike. Pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. RC213V for a track bike. You know, Ollie, when I talk about my budget for track bikes, personally, <laughs> I have a hard time taking anything over, say, 10 grand. My number is exactly that, 10 grand. Is your number 10 grand also? If that is your number, that would probably buy you the rear wheel. The swing arm? Maybe? No way. Huh? No, you're probably right. It was like 30,000. God, this thing was crazy. RC213V-S. And like I said earlier on a uh, earlier post, these are the bikes. This is the bike that Marquez practices on, isn't it? Yeah. When, obviously, they don't like to use them on GP bikes. He has one of those that he uses. All right. Well, you did a great job. We'll have it done in about seven, ten more minutes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. <laughs> I promised Ollie I wouldn't do any more videos, any more photos today, but you know, when it comes to the 213V, I'm not sure we'll ever get another one. Actually, I am quite sure we'll get another one at one point, because I want one. Look at the carbon fiber work. The tank obviously goes right down inside here. It's getting so close. Here's the fuel cell. As Ollie said, a work of art. Actually, I'll use a couple other words, but uh, let's go with that one. <laughs> it's all right. We had to reshoot it. 
God, it looks so cool. God, it, the way the exhaust goes through and routes through is just so interesting, isn't it? So the owner wants to know if I could take it out for a test ride. He doesn't trust you to do it, Ollie. Right. Huh? Is that right? Yep. What do you think about that? You all right with that? Angel said he has it Angels. There you go. There it is. We have a muffler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, Ollie, I'm going to go back to work. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Ollie's assuring me that today is a day, right? We're going to start this one up. Yep. The RC213. I'll tell you, you can't miss it from the tail section. Super clean look. One pipe coming out the side. Got this back together. He's got the tank on. All the uh, wiring is complete and routed correctly. Ollie's been taking a long time making sure that everything that he can find on the microfish and the DVDs and everything else. So what do you think, Ollie? 100% sure we'll start it today? Yes. All right. 99.9%. What's that? 99.9. 99.9. All right. I'll take that. So uh, some fluids in it. Get it all set up. And uh, after we confirm everything's running right, we'll get the bodywork put on it. One of those bikes you can just look at for hours and hours and hours and see all the little details. That massive swing arm I keep pointing out, which just draws me in. This beautiful exhaust is routed that way. All right, Ollie, I'm gonna leave you alone for a minute. Be back at <laughs> 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 See, he's cracking up. I'm glad you it's not. Bother me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm well, now for the time we've been waiting for, we've got the bike all primed. This is the RC 213V. I should say the oil's primed, right, Ollie? Yep. Yep. And if uh, interesting little note here, there's your little oil sight glass, if you will. And it freezes in. Let's uh, let's hear it go. There it is. First time running. touches on the RC 213 V-S as you can see if you're putting the, H, the uh, race kit in it it uh, the headlight comes out and you put in this air intake setup and it's a really great fit you can just see uh, carbons right up to the edge my phone doesn't do this this color justice it really pops in person the fender wraps around the bottom of the fork leg which is really neat <laughs> it really is beautiful we opted to put the kickstand back on it because we figure the uh, owner, even though he's going to be doing track duty, he's going to probably want to ride a park it. But that's an easy swap if he wants. Body works all going on. <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it, Ollie? Everything is just amazing. The quality is unbelievable. Yeah. They definitely got duck cutting the corners, huh? The perfect overspray lines and it's all... It's like a production bike, but it's made in such limited numbers. It's a beautiful bike apart. It's a spectacular bike together. I don't know. I gotta say, 
<laughs> I think I'd have a hard time running this thing around the track. What do you think, Ollie? <laughs> it's too expensive. Well, I know, right? Too expensive to buy parts. God, it's so gorgeous. All right, almost done. Well, I'm happy to say the owner said that Ollie could take it for a test ride. Alright Ollie, how was it? Um everything you could have ever hoped probably. Yeah, just sound we could hear you literally around the block. Can I go around the block? Yeah, we could hear you all the way around behind the parking deck there, going around the whole street. I mean it it's sounds incredible. Road. It's so No, it's amazing. It's Yeah, I don't know, you kinda of lost lost for words. <laughs> um... uh, Ollie's first thing he said to me when he got off the bike, he's good. He goes, uh he goes, we need to get more of these. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, uh, you know what? I want to kind of do well enough that we have a whole bunch of these. What do you think, Steve? You in? Uh, I'm down. Do a track day, RC 213VS day only? <laughs> or V, whatever you want it. Oh boy, that would, that would sound amazing, wouldn't it? A whole oh pack my of these gosh, things. that was invigorating just hearing it. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. That was fun. Perfect bike. All right, let's get it inside and uh, get it ready to ship. <laughs> 